Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. Here we are with another lecture of classical mechanics in which today we will discuss about example of a variational principle. We have already discussed about variational principle in our last lecture. Now example of variational principle. So example of variational principle and as an example of variational principle here we will prove that the shortest distance between two points in a plane is a straight line. This is our curve and the end points of this curve are A and B and the coordinates of A and B are x1, y1 and x2, y2. Now we take a small portion on this curve and this portion is ds. So this is our ds. Now we find its x and y components. Let the x component of this ds be dx and its y component is dy. Now here we take a point m means this is the path a m b. Now we join end points of this curve that is point A and B. So we have to prove that A and B is a straight line means the shortest distance connecting a path is always a straight line. Let A and B be two points and xy plane and the coordinates of these points are x1, y1 and x2, y2. Now we consider a path A and B for moving A to B. Now we are moving from A to B and for moving A to B we consider a path A and B. Let ds means this portion. So let ds be a, a small portion along path A and B if dx and dy are the component of ds then ds is equal to root of dx square plus dy square this is by using the Pythagoras theorem or ds is equal to dx root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square and dy by dx represents the differential of y with respect to x and it is denoted by y dash. So ds is equal to a root of 1 plus y dash square into dx. Now the total length from a to b since we are considering a small portion ds of path a and b. Now the total length of a b that is this length s is equal to integration a to b ds and since ds is this one so we replace this ds with this one so s is equal to integration a to b root of 1 plus y dash square dx for true path or stationary path delta s is always 0 and s is this one so delta s, delta s means the differential of this s. So delta s is equal to delta integration a to b root of 1 plus y dash square dx is equal to 0 for stationary path or true path. Now we compare it with the variational principle. So we compare this value with the variational principle. So delta i equals to 0 in variational principle or delta integration of f dx equals to 0 and this f is a function of y, y dash and x. Here function is root of 1 plus y dash square. It means f is a function of y dash. It is not the function of y. So f is a function of y dash. And we already proved that 
डेल एफ अपॉन डेल वाई माइनस डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ डेल एफ अपॉन डेल वाई डेस इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज बाई यूजिंग वेरिएशनल प्रिंसिपल एंड एफ इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ वाई डेस सो डेल एफ अपॉन डेल वाई इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज एफ डज नॉट डिपेंड्स ऑन वाई सो इफ यू डिफ्रेंशिएट एफ विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई देन इट विल बी जीरो नाउ एफ इज दिस वन सो इफ यू डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई डेस देन डेल एफ अपॉन डेल वाई डेस इक्वल टू वन अपॉन ट्वाइस रूट वन प्लस वाई डेस स्क्वायर नाउ वी डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस वन सो इन टू ट्वाइस वाई डेस नाउ टू एंड टू विल बी कैंसल आउट सो डेल एफ अपॉन डेल वाई डेस इक्वल टू y dash upon root of one plus y dash square. Now, del f upon del y minus d by dx of del f by del y dash equals to zero, and del f upon del y equals to zero. Also, del f upon del y dash equals to this one. Since del f upon del y dash does not depends on x, so if we differentiate del f upon del y dash with respect to x, then it will be zero. So d by dx of del f upon del y dash is equal to d by dx of y dash upon root of one plus y dash square, and this is equal to zero. Now d by dx of y dash upon one plus y dash square is zero, and if the differential of any physical quantity is zero, then that physical quantity is constant. It means y dash upon root of one plus y dash square is constant. And this constant is represented here by c, or y dash square equal to c square into one plus y dash square. So here we cross multiply and square. So on cross multiplying it, we get y dash is equal to c root of one plus y dash square. And on squaring on either side, we get y dash square equal to c square into one plus y dash square. Now. We open this bracket, so y dash square equal to c square plus c square y dash square. Now we transfer this c square y dash square from here to here, and we take y dash square common here. So y dash square into one minus c square equal to c square, or y dash is equal to c upon root of one minus c square. Since c is constant, it means this is constant. And this constant is represented by another constant that is c1. So y is equal to c1. And y is equal to dy by dx. So dy by dx equal to c1, or dy is equal to c1 dx. Now we integrate this equation. So integration of dy is equal to c1 integration of dx. And on integrating this equation, we get y equal to C one x plus C two, and this C two is constant of integration, and it is clear from this equation that this equation is equation of straight line having slope C one, and the intersection on y x is C two. So this is equation of straight line having slope C one, and what is C one? C one is equal to C upon root of one minus C square. It means The slope of this equation is c upon root of one minus c square. So, if we plot this equation, then we get this straight line, and the slope of this straight line that is dy by dx equal to c one, and the intersection on y axis is c two. So, it is clear from this expression that. The shortest distance between any two points is always a straight line. Here we end our session. Goodbye.